Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about the nanophotonic biosensors and how this technology could potentially be used to detect the ongoing coronavirus disease. Seeing modern technologies adapt to aid in the prevention of fast spreading disease is important to our knowledge as we always learn something new. Certain medical technologies can help with treatments, diagnosis, and prevention of certain human disease. Luckily, the nanophotonic biosensors can be beneficial in many ways. Since the start of the COVID-19 outbreak that started last year, many scientists and researchers have began to develop different diagnostic techniques and immediately began working on a vaccine. As you can see, here are the different types of COVID tests that are currently being used today. Out of the many different COVID tests, a new technique in the medical physics world is being worked on to be used. It is known as the nanophotonic biosensor. It is a highly sensitive technique that detects all viruses in a body, including COVID-19, within just a few minutes. It is also used for environmental screening to keep track and monitor the viruses in animals that is also to prevent any future outbreaks. Most of the tests that are used now to detect the virus use specific RNA material of the virus through enzyme-mediated amplifications of the targeted genes. There is also the antigen test, which detects viral antigens. These tests have essentially been very helpful, but the only hitch is that those tests are not highly sensitive, meaning they might give false negatives or false positives. Okay, so to begin with, let us try to understand how this technology works and how physics plays a role in this. The nanophotonic biosensor detects the spike proteins on the virus. They are able to capture different light-based phenomena and is able to quickly detect and quantify biomarkers. Initially, the sensor surface is modified with certain receptors targeting the antigens of the virus, like the protein spikes of the SARS-CoV-19. The next step after the biosensor has been exposed to the sample, virus particles are captured by the receptors onto the sensor surface creating a signal that is recorded in real time. The response is directly proportional to the concentration of the number of viruses in the sample, providing a precise quantification of the viral load in patients. This technology depends on silicon photonics technologies, as many nanophotonic transducers do, as well as metallic components that can transport light through something called surface plasmon polaridins, or SPPs. These are electromagnetic waves that can travel through metallic dielectric. The way nanotechnology is built is by having silicon lines placed on top of a thick layer of glass. The purpose of the silicone is to Refract the light, since it has high index of refraction. Building the technology in a way to have the silicon set up in a certain geometrical shape to manipulate the light is crucial in the making of this technology. This is also known as evanescent field sensing, or oscillating electric or magnetic fields that does not increase as an electromagnetic wave. Nanostructures on the sensor intensifies the incident light field and changes in refractive index at the interface caused by recognition of antibody or antigen interactions which are read from the enhanced evanescent field. You can see in this image how the refraction works in the evanescent field. There are many advantages that biosensors can provide, such as the accuracy of quantification, high sensitivity, low power consumption, robustness, and small footprint. Additionally, with the knowledge of virus load in patients, they could be monitored more efficiently and minimize disease complications.